what's good tribe it's the priest i'm back with another prediction today so with the month of may being the five and us being in 2023 there is a lot of adversity that you will be overcoming in the month of may with the five it's just there's an imbalance there with the three and the two it feels like this okay we can't see the shifts happening but there's a huge portal that is opening on 5 5 23 and what this is is it's just an opportunity for you to shift into change. Okay, some of your guys' lives will never be the same is what I'm hearing. For the month of May, the 555 portal, level 11, I will be teaching a mentorship on bending reality. So there's only 44 seats for that. That's gonna be 5523 at 5 p.m. Central. So this is super aligned with going through this shift and not having to do it alone. So you can find that down below. Two days after that, on the 7th of May, I will be teaching Dream Day, which is right after the portal. So right after you make this huge shift, it's all about your dreams. There's no more being limited in what you believe you can do. Your imagination is going to be bringing you a lot of answers in the month of May. If you guys are interested in being a part of the level 11, there's 44 seats for that in Dream Day. There's 111 seats for that personal readings there's only 11 available for me so everything's going to be pretty limited if you guys are interested in anything that i have going on definitely check down below i'm going to be way more active on my teachings than i will be here on youtube four different cards you guys can choose from what can you expect in the month of may each card has a different energy behind it we have card number one card number two three and four you guys can also find the chapters down below or the pinned comment down below all right i'll see you guys on the other side it's okay. It's, it's literally you're transitioning. Be patient with yourself. <laughs> like it's almost over. Like, I don't know where this message is coming from, but okay. If you guys were drawn to card number one, this is your message. All right. You are being guided on this path. Everything is going to work out. It already has worked out. If you knew that you were fully supported on this path that you're being inspired to take but you may be afraid to take because of lack mentality, not feeling like you have enough, whether that's enough support, enough finances, enough clarity, enough information, trust that you are being guided. So what your message is for the month of May is that you are going down a path, but it's leading you here to this big significant change in your life. So if you guys did not hear at the very beginning, the 555, because 2023 ends in the five, is going to be a huge portal. So if you feel called and really feel like you would desire guidance on this journey, on this path of the unknown, you are not alone. There is mentorship all around you. And if you guys really feel called to mentorship, this would be a perfect opportunity for you because there's only 44 seats for level 11 on 5 5 at 5 central there's sometimes just comforting assurance of knowing that you're on the right path so how do you know because it will feel good so spirit wants you to live your life as if you were supported right act as if it, everything you desired would be supported and not based on how it's going to happen or how it's going to be supported because it's not going to make sense all right, so there's a path. Let's look at the overall energy for May for card one. What can they expect? Yeah, so you guys can pretty much check out the description down below for personal readings. There's 11 available for May. And then there's also Dream Day that we'll be having in May, May 7th, and then level 11, which is going to be the 555 bending reality is the theme. There's nostalgia coming up in the month of May with the Six of Cups, all right? Something that maybe you used to do as a child that you haven't done. There is purity in when you were a child because what you did was very innocent. It was because you just enjoyed it, not because you wanted someone to watch you do it or because you were gonna get paid to do it or because it was a good idea. You just genuinely enjoyed it. Let's look at what May looks like for the people who chose this card. All right, so you're definitely being down, led down a path of the unknown. You're being asked to have patience. Patience with seeing the results in the physical, okay? With the seven of pinnacles here, this is about, hey, your money trees are going to grow 
just because you don't see them doesn't mean that it's not happening. So if you're waiting on proof from your reality, it's kind of like looking at your reflection in the mirror. We are a little bit behind when it comes to our reality and how it works. So we don't see everything exactly as it happens, right? That's why usually we don't process something until after it happens because we didn't see it coming and there is no way to see it coming. So there's something about letting go of your physical sight. And they're bringing me to the book of Eli, Will Smith, where he was blind and he relied solely on his faith and intuition. And I haven't seen it in a long time. So you'll have to feel what resonates for you, but walk by faith, not by your physical sight, because you will not see it. <laughs> it will, it's not, you're not going to see this, but it's happening. Okay. So the month of May, you're actually going to see some coins come in. So this is the month that you're going to see some of the fruits of your labor pay off here. Okay, but you have had to be, be patient. And even this isn't the tree that you're yet satisfied with. And that's why I said it's still growing. All right, what's happening in May? Okay, you guys could be a Virgo. I was getting a lot of Virgo, Capricorn and Taurus vibes. And then also here we have Libra. All right, so justice. So yes, there's going to be some type of balance here. Let's see what this balance is with. Two of Wands, making a decision. Some of you were going back and forth between making a decision, okay? Something that maybe you've been weighing on for some time. And with the Two of Wands, I see there's going to be clarity here in the month of May. Maybe you're getting ready to see that there's two different paths that you had. One was desirable, which is the one that your instincts are going to be leading you towards. It's your passions. It's what you wish you can do full time. It's what you can do and get lost in very easily is what I'm hearing. Like there is a experience here that's meant for you. In May, you're going to see how that one decision on the other side of not choosing your intuition was a trap. You're actually going to see how that would play out. So some of you were going to choose comfortability or are really, really, really being encouraged not to choose comfortability, 555 on the clock. Once again, 555, huge portal shift. Um, and that's why I brought that to your attention in the very beginning because you are getting ready to see who you are now. That life, that decision that brings you comfortability, complacency, and you know exactly what's gonna happen because you've been doing it, you're gonna see how that was a trap how that would have been a trap for you. So you have no choice but to go with the path of your heart. It's just scary because you don't know how it's gonna happen. You literally don't know. You just know that you have a love for whatever this is that, that you're gonna be doing. So let's go ahead and get some clarity because I have a few questions here. All right, so you will be making a decision in May. There is a decision and I see you making it in May. So you could have been led to another card, maybe the leap card, deck three. Let's see what the, the energy, give me three clues for the energy of May for the card chosen. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, good news, okay? So this, look, hesitation, just choosing, making a decision, all right? Decision, confusion. You are, this is a challenge for you, head over heart. Head over heart has been the challenge, but understanding that your head strategically look at this even with the strategy here mind reading prediction planning and then we have spirituality which is magic and mystery so once again we have spiritual and then we have you mentally trying to strategize every single decision and understand that you strategizing everything is not going to bring you what you truly desire because this strategy is just to keep you comfort comfortable in your fears there's more that you desire and so there's a there's something about being honest here about what you love why is the six of cups here yeah three of swords okay this is about your heart so this is about what you love not what is strategic because your fulfillment isn't something you can strategize it's not a it's not a physical thing to obtain so it's going to take 
more than strategy. It's going to take you diving into your magic. All right. And so there is good news coming in and a miracle and a surprise and encouragement once you let go. Okay. Once you let go of just, and again, with the full card, the take a leap card at the bottom of the deck. So deck three could definitely be for you as well. That could be your next, that could be your June. Okay. So there's something here about good news is coming in, but to let go of strategy, to follow your heart with the cups here, follow your emotions, follow your fulfillment. All right, let's see what your future self has to say about your month of May. What are you trying to tell the people watching for deck one? What do they need to know for May? Help is nearby. I got your back. So you're not doing this alone. Can't make this up. If you're lacking confidence, you've lost sight of who you are. So losing sight of who you are just because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not happening. We just... We just talked about this, right? We just talked about this. So you're being fully supported and spirit wants you to live your life, life as if, and even step one, just imagine it so that you can allow yourself to expand consciously and honor your desires, okay? Love yourself enough to honor your desires. You don't have to wait for another person to celebrate yourself here with the Six of Cups to celebrate your life. So there's a lot that I feel like you letting go and trusting in the universe so that you can see that the universe has your back. And just because you don't see it doesn't mean that it's not happening. So what is this energy here with their path for May? Letting go, releasing. So let go of what no longer is igniting you, what no longer is feeling easy and aligned and it, what you're excited to do. And this is just, you have to feel that within in, in knowing what that is for you. So there's a little bit of self-discovery on this path. So you might feel like you're alone. You're never alone. You're just by yourself, but yourself is yourself this is still du duo it's you're still not alone <laughs> so again lots of enlightenment coming through here you guys are going to a higher level in spirituality this is forcing you and it's not in a bad forcing way it's just kind of like okay well this door is shut and so now it's provoking you to go towards your truest desire so if this person wanders off their path the way that higher self communicates is just simply shuts the door so that you don't have to go through that journey. Some of you don't even understand some of the doors that are being closed two years, one year from now, even six months from now, what that journey would be giving you is not pleasant at all. And so what spirit does to spare you is to close the door. And sometimes we think this is rejection or sometimes we think, oh, this is sacrifice. It's like, no, this is not what you want so be okay letting go and moving forward and if you wander off the path again you will still be provoked back to the pathway and let's see what's there for you okay acceptance is a big deal accepting yourself accepting your desires and that you want more and that you want to feel alive and excited and that is exactly what you're here to do but i see that the only way you've really been able to connect with that maybe is through childhood experiences or maybe only past experiences. So I'm hearing imagining new experiences. What is this path leading them towards? Look at this at the bottom. I can't make it up. Enlightenment. Wow. I cannot. Enlightenment. Your crown chakra. You are getting ready to see who you are. I remember when I took this path probably maybe five years ago of like, okay, I'm gonna finally just go towards this light, this truth. I know there's more for me. I know I'm meant for more. I know that I am meant for more, belong. I know that there is a sense of belonging for me somewhere, okay? So this path is leading you towards cultivation. So that's cultivating your desires, some maybe desires that you've overlooked. Some of you guys could be into music, could be an artist, could be a poet, 
Focus just on what you enjoy. Do not stress about what you think you have to do. Okay, don't get caught into that, sh that trap. Understand your mind is just a tool. It's just a tool. And so strategy can only take you so far. Strategy can get you great numbers, great results. But what you're desiring is unconditional love. You're desiring financial freedom, the ability to do what you want, when you want, how you want, the ability to travel, explore, to cultivate some of your deepest passions. And this is not obtained through strategy. And so in May, I really see that you are being enlightened to more spiritual support than you thought. So maybe you're asking God, okay, God, what should I do here? Follow your heart is always going to be the correct answer. I wanna see also what spirit wants you to know about this decision. Hmm. Be grateful along the way to raise your vibration. So some of you who do not think it's here yet, whatever that may be, Spirit is saying to be grateful along the way. And what, what is this about? This isn't about, oh, be grateful like our parents used to tell us. This is being grateful, having the feeling of gratitude makes you feel good. So feel good and not just when you get it because then you have to suffer until you get it, no. But gratitude is a perfect energy that allows you to literally shift into a, an energy of, of love immediately. And it's almost like it makes it come sooner because it feels like it's here, okay? So there's some deep, deep stuff that is going on as far as like spiritual stuff. Um, let's see what the closing energy is for May for those who chose. What can they expect lastly? The high priest. Okay, we have the high priest in reverse. You could be a, a Pisces. You don't have to be. We also have the world card. All right, so this is going to be huge trusting your intuition. Your mind, again, beautiful thing, beautiful tool. But in the month of May, I see that this is in reverse. Let's see, why is the high priestess is my most intuitive card here in the tarot deck for the most part. So why is this in reverse? Overload, because you cannot hear your intuition with everything going on. You have so much overwhelmingness, so many obligations that you feel like you have to abide by, so many chores, tasks, to-do lists. It's excessive. So you cannot hear your intuitiveness in this energy. So something has to be let go. If it's not easy, if it's not natural, then it has to go. And it's like, you have to be patient with yourself because you're probably not gonna wanna let everything go at once. So it's not the universe holding back, it's you holding back. And so that's why you have to give grace to yourself and have patience with yourself. So what else is causing this high priestess to be in reverse? Relaxation in reverse, peace. So the loudest time you will hear your higher self, which is just kind of like the version of you that can talk to God. So it's the intuitive version. It's the one who is connected. Like when you align with your higher self, you will also then be able to communicate with the universe. You will then think like your higher self does. You will think like a higher perspective. Once again, this is teaching. You're a light worker. So definitely check that down below in the description, level 11. And the loudest time you're gonna hear God is in silence and solitude. So it's a very subtle form of communication. I can't even say it's a voice, okay? So in order to really be aware of this, you have to be in a state of relaxation and ease and peace so that it can come to you. Some of you are looking for clarity desperately. Like, what should I do? Um, Spirit's literally saying nothing so I can do it. But if you can't chill while I'm doing it, call me real quick and we'll talk about it. <laughs> literally. Okay? And then maybe that'll bring you ease. But until then, if you don't want to speak to me, then there's no way I could bring peace to you on your path because the mind will freak out. It doesn't know. 
it literally doesn't know. <laughs> Some of you guys can definitely be into music. Okay, almost got me over here rhyming. This is your guys' reading for May and what to expect. So closing out, let's close the overall energy out for May. What do they have to look forward to in the month of May? As we close, seeing differently, uniqueness, roles, variation, taking your mask off, being your true self, and anyone who doesn't align with it, then they're just not meant to be in this new life and reality that is being created for you, being forged for you. You're walking towards it. Your heart is walking towards it. So both here, she has masks on. So this is something about being able to obviously see differently. Remember how I said seeing from a higher perspective? Because your mind is not gonna understand what the hell's happening. It's going to basically see it as possibly crumbling tower. So this is pretty much what I'm getting for the month of May. If you guys chose this card, I hope this brought you clarity. Once again, if you guys are looking to be a part of anything that I have going on, check out the description box below. I'm going to move on to card number two. What's good card number two. If you were drawn to the council of light, this is your message for the month of May. So something that I'm getting is that there is a lot of help nearby. So with May, in May, I'm seeing that there is a higher perspective of the counsel that you have that is guiding you. And I feel like you can feel very connected to spirituality in the month of May and this could be due to whatever May is bringing you let's see three cards okay ten of swords thank you page of pentacles three of wands let's get some clarity ten of swords knight of wands temperate Sagittarius energy we're gonna get one more card why is this three of wands in reverse? Ace of cups, okay. Some things are being shaken up in your world in the month of May. I don't know if you guys heard the very beginning, the intro to the collective. The month of May is five, and we're also in 2023, which is five. And five is usually the number of conflict. It is also usually the number of adversity. And so on 555, there is a portal there is a shift that is opening where things are really being closed out here and i see that you don't you may not see how this is good for you in this moment and i definitely feel as though it is going to bring you a new start and a new beginning and it is also bringing you back to yourself your true self there's some type of reconciliation here with you and the things that you love, okay? You could have been very disconnected from yourself this year or lately. And what I mean by disconnected from yourself is not doing anything for you. You can be very connected, right? And doing things for other people, but this is about you. You could be a Sagittarius. You don't have to be because we definitely have that here. This is about you and your passions and really pulling back some of this energy that you have in so many different places. So I want some clarity on why the Ten of Swords is here and the Knight of Wands is here in reverse. Vow, wish, hope, and worship disturbance yeah and also what i'm seeing is there's a lot that seems to be going not according to the plans so there could be a lot of things that are being revealed to you that maybe are not bringing as much happiness as you thought it was maybe not paying off as much as you thought it would this could be a relationship a connection 
this could also be a project that you started. But mostly what I'm seeing is this is all about you. Why is temperance here? What does this have to do with them? Reservation, desire, worth, extravagance. So are you being honest about your desires? Are you spending time focusing on what, what brings you happiness? This is about you. So many of you guys could be ending even projects with other people because it wasn't a line. That's for some of you. But I'm also hearing that you have help and you're going to be seeing the work of spirit more than you have seen before. In the month of May, you're really being asked to allow the spiritual guidance to guide you. You are also coming up with wings. So learning the truth of who you are, that you are actually connected to a guide and guides of light that want the best and the highest good for you, knowing that whatever is good for you, whatever makes you happy is going to also make the people around you happy. So it could feel like there's a lot of distractions <laughs> in the month of May, just so many distractions. And I see that really what this is about is focusing on yourself. It's just bringing me back to that. Let me see what your higher self has to say. Why is temperance here? Okay, this is coming, coming back to you, coming back to a space of clarity, calmness, peace, where things don't feel like it's disturbing you, okay? You have the power to transcend pain, okay? Some of you, even if you were like sick or anything of that nature, this is also communication. Everything is communication. So being aware of what, what type of environment are you in? So there's going to be a lot of clarity being given to you in the month of May about your surroundings and with, with where maybe you can strive. Okay, so I see that there's gonna be some hope, some wishes. Maybe you have a hope or a wish for a home for some of you or for a new home or for another home. Okay, so there's a lot of wishes that I feel like if these things did not happen, maybe you wouldn't have gotten to a place of wishing for more. So really just seeing this, what happens in May, just taking a step back and allowing th allow things to unfold naturally. And all you're doing is being aware of what's unfolding, okay? You are not making this happen. It is happening for you. See that there's a difference even when I say you're not making this happen. When I say, okay, you have to make this happen, that sounds like a lot of work. Now, when I say this is happening for you, this means that it's happening for you, but you have to let go of doing, thinking you have to do work. If it's gonna happen for you, that means you're not making it happen. So you, somewhere you have to either, if you wanna make it happen yourself, take ownership that this is, this is what you're doing. You're choosing to do it by yourself or allowing it to happen for you means you will have to be open and receptive to receiving all right, and so um, I want some more clarity here. Two more from Future Self, and then I'm gonna get back into the tarot. All right, we have expect to hear from me soon. So you're going to be connected to spirit more than you've been in a very long time in May, and if it were not for these disturbances and occurrences, this would not happen. So what you're learning is you don't have to always wait to go through bad things or things that are uncertain that brings you stress and worry before you expect to hear from God or the universe. Okay, so that's what you're learning here and that there's something about a reservation here for you, something for you, reserving time for you, reserving space for you. One more card. What you are going through is only temporary. So now that you know it's temporary, what can you start focusing on? The life that you're walking into. And as you're imagining this and focusing on this, you, it'll be revealed to you even more so in May. Being yourself will inspire others. So some of you have a gift of inspiration. So whatever it is that you're doing, the path that you're going down that might not seem traditional or normal to the people around you, 
it is actually going to inspire a lot of people. So if people ask you questions about how you're gonna do this and how you're gonna make it happen, just understand that that is them questioning, having those same questions, and that's where they stopped in their journey. But because you decide to keep going and not stopping, all right, there's inspiration there behind that. And to feel that energy of inspiration is priceless. So you're getting to know your worth and what you do and bring to people. So that's why there's a, there's a focus on spending time, more time with yourself so you can see how worthy you are. So what's the energy and what they can expect for May for those who chose Council of Light, May 2023? Waiting, alertness, preparation, watchfulness. So instead of waiting for these wishes to come true, right? Because we have the Knight of Wands not going towards them, Ace of Cups. Know that it's already done. There's going to be some type of hope and restoration in the month of May coming to you that you can actually trust that what you desire will come true. And this is not just an affirmation of, okay, yes, what I will desire will come true, what I will desire. No, because that doesn't feel good to do that for three hours and then for the rest of the day, you don't feel like it's coming true. No, to know what's coming true. How can you know what's coming true? And there has to be a belief in something much higher than you making this happen. And so instead of waiting, you should start preparing. So if you're, you know, moving into a new space or if you're buying a home or whatever, starting to prepare for these things and they will come to you. So it's already coming. And if you knew it was already coming, would you be waiting? No, you wouldn't. <laughs> so that's what May is teaching you. And so if you see things kind of crumbling, it's like, Whatever you see is really to light a fire under you to move, to move towards what you desire. What else in May for card two? Celebration. So you're moving towards a celebration. May be hard to think about when you're in the middle of what seems to be a disaster or turmoil. And so that's why what you're learning is that it's already done, the battle has been won, and you can celebrate now. Celebrate like it's done already. Tenacity, dedication, determination, stubbornness. So it is your perseverance, it is your stubbornness of having to run into the wall or having hard things knock you down before you slow down or before you slow down and lead with patience and awareness so your stubbornness is the cause of the destructiveness is what i'm hearing okay so if you see anything in your peripheral it just it's all communication you have to see yourself as literally being communicated with something much higher than you and there's going to be distractions and it may feel harder to hear your instincts and voice when the decision seems to be a lot more heavier than others. But nothing is heavier than your joy and your desires. It's about you. Once you're fulfilled, everyone around you will benefit from your overflow. But you have to be fulfilled first. And so the more stubborn we are, because we all have our times of stubbornness, the more harder we have to fall because we're so stubborn that we, it, we lead ourselves into these places where in order for spirit to lead us out, it has to be literally burnt down to the ground before we're like, huh, I don't think this is the right way. And that's where stubbornness leads you, literally. And so in the month of May, focus on the good. You still have a beautiful opportunity here. Let's clarify why the page of pentacles is here. Okay, the Knight of Cups. So we do have something. What is this Knight of Cups here? So you have an opportunity that's coming in, Knight of Cups. This would be something that, that is a movement towards something that brings you a lot of happiness. This could also be a love situation. We have the Two of Cups at the bottom. All right, some of you guys could be getting into a new relationship or a deeper founded connection with the person that you have here because we do have the Three of Cups. So I do see you either 
moving towards, you're moving towards a celebration. This is a new beginning. I want to see also this page of, clarify the page of pentacles. We have an opportunity. Thank you. Whoa, look at this. This is crazy. Coins, coins, coins. Money is coming in. Money is piling up. And guess what? It's okay. Just because it's there doesn't mean you have to spend it. Card number two, feel abundant. Saving is, has to come from an abundant place because it could be very lackful. Someone can save for literally 10 years and spend all of that in one day. So what is the point of saving from a lack mentality? The point, this saving is not coming from um, a place of, I need to save for something. It's, oh, I have so much coming in, right? If you had three jars of jelly, you have an abundance, right? So you're gonna save the other two. You're gonna store them. You're gonna persevere them. So you, some of you guys might be getting another bank account. Some of you guys might be getting another safe or another refrigerator, like, you know, double storage is what I'm hearing because you have so much extra and overflow. This is not coming from a place of, okay, I need to save these just in case the world is ending and we have to save all of this. No, that doesn't feel good. That's how you know it's coming from a lack mentality. That doesn't feel good. So once again, we have something about your schedule changing and I see that whatever is happening here is going to allow you to make more money and have more time. Okay, freedom is what I'm seeing on the time with the, the time is flying by, you're trying to catch it. <laughs> so whatever it is that you're getting ready to get into, there's so much fun, okay? Once again, hella distractions in the background. So Knight of Cups, this could also be a relationship for some of you. I see starting a new relationship and also, this could just simply be something that you really love to do. You'll be doing more of in the month of May. So things may have not been going as planned, but what it's leading you towards is a soulmate. For those of you who are walking away from a relationship, there is a soulmate here that matches your energy of who you're becoming. Okay, very, very, whoever you were with was replicating who you used to be and they're not evolving. So either you have to stay devolved down there in that frequency or you have to accept your evolution and move towards and, and you will meet someone and celebrate with them. That will be happening very quickly for those of you who are single. So is there anything else they can expect to happen in the month of May? Yep, there's also a new opportunity in career for those of you who are here with the Two of Cups. If this is not a relationship, this is a partnership with something that you really enjoy doing. But I mean, we do have a couple here. So this, I chose this deck obviously for a reason, childlike expression. So yeah, there's a lot more playfulness coming in, a lot more relaxation, and all of this is still bringing you in more money. So whatever's happening in May, this is kind of like, this is the foreshadow of May, like going into June. You're being led to what you actually desire. So whatever's happening, don't freak out. Focus on your dreams is what I'm hearing. Joy, yeah, generosity. So if you guys didn't hear in the beginning, we'll be doing dream day so you guys can save your seat. There's only 111, but you guys might be one of them. Save your seat for dream day. We will all be sharing the dreams, the visions, and what is coming forth after the 555 portal. So joy, generosity, and childlike expression is what you can expect. So spirit, in order to get into this energy, you have to feel what? Abundant. You have to feel like you have more than enough to save, feel like you have more than enough to give, feel like you have more than enough to relax and actually do what you enjoy without worrying. To even feel like a child again. A child is like everything's taken care of, but this is the life that's intended for you. And so there's a deep connection here with spirit of being guided on this path of like, oh, I'm just here to have fun. Like the earth is my playground. And, and what I do for fun makes me a lot, a ton, okay? 
and that's it. That's what you're here to do. And your heart, you love to share with others. You're very generous. So when you step into a generous energy, all you're saying is, I'm wealthy. I'm abundant. I have more than enough to share. It's just some of you are sharing out of your cup and not allowing the overflow of your cup to give to others. There's a reality where you feel fulfilled and you can still give. All right. So this is what I'm getting for you guys. Definitely check out the description box down below for any more information on readings or live webinars that I have going on. If you guys are looking to do Dream Day or Level 11, you can find that down below. Super excited for that. See you guys next month. All right, moving on to deck number three. What's good, card number three? If you guys were led to this card, I can feel it in my chest. I can feel it in my gut that there is fear here and this fear of taking this leap into this new life into this new you it's like that adrenaline where you're at the end of the cliff and you're like okay i'm gonna jump i'm gonna jump but it's like you have that feeling in your chest in your gut and it's like oh what is this feeling I'm gonna go towards that person finally. I'm finally gonna open up. I'm finally gonna tell them how I feel. I'm finally gonna start that venture. I'm finally gonna do it. And so that feeling is your ego literally dying, okay? There's so much fear here. Look at this, the King of Wands, already so much passion at the bottom of this deck. What are you so afraid of? Card number three. All right, May is bringing the chickenness out of you, the scariness out of you. And honestly, you're just going to have to like let spirit walk you to this leap of faith. You know, when you kind of just like have to just do it and you just go against everything that your mind is saying and you just do it. And it actually happens better than you expect, better than you anticipated. But the fear, if you let it get the best of you, could have took you through so much suffering and, and projections of what could have been. And like that's even more torture when you think about it. Because you've lived all of those realities of what if this happens and what if this is so more entertaining than what if this happens. And I know that can feel like a challenge sometimes when you've been seeing some of the same things, but you're seeing some of the same things because you're just focusing on the same things. Could be challenging to focus on something new, focusing on how it could work out. That's how you know you are bending reality. Okay, you guys, two, two, two. Level 11, 44 seats, 555 five, five at five central. You guys can book your seat down below. You guys can save a seat down below if there's still any available. I feel like you're walking into becoming a light worker, so look in the description for that. In the meantime, wow, wow. Deck three, card three, you are very enlightened, <laughs> okay? I'm, I'm sure you hear this often. Don't even need the cards. Look at this, look at, I don't even need the cards, deck three. Deck two, ooh, if you were drawn to deck two, if they were drawn to deck two, Lots of confusion, lots of in their head, but deck three, you're going for it. And what is this going to do? This is going to bring you peace of mind. Let's just put it to rest here. Okay, let's just put it to rest here. But it actually turns out better than you thought. So for May, a huge portal, 555, five, five, Cinco de Mayo. All right, so if you guys are drawn to level 11, definitely save a seat and I'll see you there. So you have the 10 of pentacles and then we have the king of pentacles. Earlier, we had the King of Wands. Now we have the Ten of Pentacles. What are you leaping towards? Wealth. Wealth. You are leaping towards wealth. You are leaping towards family. You are leaping towards home. You are leaping towards safety, stability, friendship. Okay, you are building something. Some type of empire is about to pay off for real. In the month of May, it could be your money month, is what I'm getting. There is confusion here. That's why I said, if you were drawn to deck number two and you're here, hello. <laughs> it's time. Make the decision and leap. 
If this is your first card, congratulations, and may you're taking the leap finally. Now, what does that mean? It means you're walking away towards something. To, I want to say you're walking towards something, not away from. So change your perspective on how you see this. I'm not walking away. I'm walking towards. I'm walking towards success, wealth, stability, home, love, family, community, investments, businesses, projects, wealth, wealth, wealth is all I can hear for you. Wealth, 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 like, yes, let's just make that a whole language for you. The Empress, okay? So some of you guys could be pregnant, very few of you, but actually pregnant with a, we call this birthing a new life, a new project, all right? So really embracing, nurturing your projects and your passions. You're birthing a whole new world in creation. You go first, the universe will catch you. So stop waiting. That's what you're here for now. In May, you're not waiting anymore. Now, if you choose to wait, I'm sure what's gonna happen is that something is going to maybe fall in your tracks and then you're going to turn right back around. Or if you choose to wait, you're going to feel a fire being lit somewhere in your life for you to go forward because the universe knows that what's ahead of you. Think about this. If your higher self is futures ahead of you and sees and knows, and that's where you have to trust, you have to trust. You have to trust and let go of some of this control, and that's where you're just walking away from these empty things that are just no longer bringing you satisfaction. We outgrow people, things, places, careers. It's okay. Our spirit is not limited. It, it literally is going to want to evolve. So you're becoming the empress here, someone who is creating a whole reality, but the best part is that it's already created for you. You are just allowing it. You, we think we're creating it because we see it happening in our time. Let's see three more cards for card three for May. King of Swords. Wheel of Fortune. And then we also have the World card. Okay, so you're leaping, and in this leap, you will be closing out a cycle, and I see that you're going to be going towards what's destined for you with the Wheel of Fortune. When you take this leap, it's not, it, this can happen instantly, but it's only going to happen in the vibration that you feel. So if you don't feel like it can happen instantly, you can be aware of that communication, and it will tell you how far you are from your goals by how you feel. Once you feel good, like they're closer, you'll know they're actually closer. So with the Wheel of Fortune, I see some of you guys could have been waiting for your reality to change before you take the leap. And you've seen that that's not getting you anywhere. It's keeping you in that reality of just waiting for everything or waiting for that person to do this or X, Y, and Z. And so now it's time to go towards what you truly desire. So the universe has to deliver. Tell me why the world card is in reverse. aid once again being open to help being open to the universe allowing its presence to guide you and not so much of you guiding you so you could definitely be coming from deck two so heart over mind and there is going to be some type of help that comes in people will want to help you if you ask for help if you if you're open to help don't feel like you're weak because of help do you understand all blessings come through people? And those people who see you will see success in you, whether your reality seems to reflect it now or not. So may, may, may bring some obstacles to you, but your higher self is saying, understand that you are successful and it is destined for you to live this life that you desire to live. Fury. Okay, so it could definitely make some people upset. 
could definitely make you upset to hear some unpleasant things. Um, but we have stubbornness here, arrogance, selfness, and we also have accident. So we have two major red cards coming out here. I want to see what this is about. Future self, what do you have to say about the fury and the accident? Okay, you're realizing that you've been causing most of this in your life. And once we take accountability for our energy, we'll understand that, okay, well, if I can make that happen, I can make good things happen as well. Create a vision board to manifest all your desires. You are safe and protected by the most high. Okay, so maybe you guys have fears of what could happen, what could go wrong, all right, here with the accident, but that's where spirit is saying to be open for help. Don't be stubborn because the stubbornness, I did mention this in deck two, stubbornness only means that we have to wait for something to burn down to the ground before we listen. We have to know that this communication that's coming in is on our side. All right. So there's also a need to express yourself and be honest with yourself and the people around you about what you truly desire. And I see that creating a vision board is going to help you. Now, someone once just asked me in a life coaching session that I just did, how does vision boards help you manifest your desires? Well, the thing is, is that you have many desires and they are in the forms of imagination and they're somewhere lost in a vision in a place where we cannot touch okay ideas you can't touch an idea so in order to bring them to life we must bring them to a tangible sense and because we cannot just go pick up a house and put it in front of us this is the closest physical sense that we can get to what you desire so if you desire a certain home and you just put in keywords into Google, there's going to be thousands of images that come up. The images that you're drawn to, there's a reason why you are drawn to those specific images. You must trust that that is communication when you feel that inspiration and desire in your heart to experience, to obtain, to travel to. And when you take a step back, once again, your vision board is your dream board it's your life it's your the clues the blues clues to the life that you're meant to live some of you don't have have yet to connect with that because of self-love not being the center of your desire maybe other people or a job or success was a desire but understanding just feeling good and loving yourself and then loving yourself enough to follow what yourself loves is what's going to bring you the most success because whatever you love to do, it's going to populate the most money. It's going to populate your person because you truly know love because you're loving you. So every single thing here, even whatever you put on your vision board, these are clues. And it's important that you're aware of what you even desire to be experiencing so that when you look at your current reality, you can ask yourself, is this what I desire? Does this align? Or am I just doing this because it makes me money and it brings ease? It brings ease to my ego. Let's see, why is this king of swords in reverse? We'll see. Why is this king of swords in reverse? Higher font, okay, we have Taurus energy and we have Aquarius energy, the star card. So I see that if you guys have yet to meet someone, okay, yeah, because we have lovers at the bottom, um, Gemini energy, there is someone specifically divinely guided towards you. And I'm hearing very clearly that they're going to match your energy on the 10 of pentacles, which means you would be the king and they would be the queen. So there is a divine connection that you maybe thought this person because I see some of you guys could definitely be walking away from someone in the month of May. For those of you who are walking away from someone, it could be you put them in their position, intimate person, friendship person, mentor, whatever that person is that you no longer resonate with. I'm getting for a lot of you, it is a connection in the sense of intimacy 
you're being divinely guided to someone who is a star just like you they will mirror your energy nearly identically and i'm hearing that it's a divine connection so it's important for you to love yourself to be in love with yourself to date yourself to feel good about yourself that's all self-healing is is how can i feel good about myself body mind and soul all right so let's see so there's a divine connection i also feel like let's see for yeah that that's what i'm getting there that's a connection now there's something that's destined here now what is destined and may what are they going to discover for the wheel of fortune explore the world and feel fulfilled so you're destined to explore it's in your destiny and look we have the world card which is exploration so for some reason that's in the reverse let's see why is that in reverse there's some there was hesitation here is what i'm getting yeah queen of wands in reverse emperor in reverse maybe you thought you needed someone maybe you thought you needed help um to be able to do this but it's destined and you will see this in the month of may as well you're seeing a lot of things come to light some of you even have children that i'm seeing maybe there's a fear here of taking the leap because of the children there's everyone has their reasoning for why they feel worried and fearful and anxious about taking a leap but i'm seeing that's going to pay off so what is to come for for may for card three thank you nine of pentacles independence we also have page of swords so this independence is coming in in a very digestible manner for you for you to understand um, and to allow this to happen with the page of swords here let's see what else is here why is the nine of pentacles here thank you okay identity recognition awareness okay so there could be some recognition coming in for you um, some of your creative endeavors are going to be paying off is what i'm hearing if you are here you're going to be seeing a lot of money in may all right serenity compassion acceptance so yeah there's a deep acceptance that you've been showing yourself many people are going to be seeing or maybe that you're going to start doing and once again when you love yourself you're just simply saying okay i acknowledge that i really want to go here and it's like having a partner if they said i really want to go here you're going to do everything you can to make that happen and so having that same passion and desire for yourself and the cool thing is you don't have to make it happen because it's happening for you which is also something I said in deck two. So we have distance, separation, discord, all right? So yeah, you could definitely be distancing yourself and could have distanced yourself or in the month of May, distan distancing yourself from people who have fiery energy, um, who have just not good energy. You don't feel good around them. You don't feel good maybe to talk to them um, and you don't have to have a reason or justice for why you're doing what you're doing. So that's something that's coming through as well, all right? What is something, the last thing they're gonna be experiencing here? Yeah, we have counsel. In the month of May, card three. Secret, sharing, whispering, confidences. So I definitely think that there's something coming through here. Like I was saying earlier, some revealing um, coming through as far as moving towards someone that maybe you have feelings for or maybe moving towards or maybe sharing some of these ideas that you have sharing this new self with others there's a lot of sharing coming through when I see the secrets I just feel like this is more of sharing and I do see that this is where your abundance is also coming from so if you guys chose card number three this is your reading pretty much may is going to be bringing in a lot of clarity and it's also you're taking the leap of faith you're taking the leap of faith and it's leading you towards what is fated and what's destined for you and you have to trust that because wherever you're at if it was destined and fated you wouldn't have to make it happen you wouldn't have to make it be <laughs> if it is meant to be it's going to be so and that's that kind of should bring you relief if anything and that's kind of what you're learning as well as what's destined to be will meant will be and that will give you a lot of clarity as well so if you guys chose deck number three don't forget to check the description down below if you guys want to check out anything that i have going on i'm going to move on to deck number four
What's good, card number four? If you guys were drawn to mirror who or what is triggering you, this is your message for the month of May. Let's go ahead and start with the tarot. Ace of Swords. Nine of Swords. So I see some type of clarity is going to be coming in in the month of May for you. Maybe you guys have been worried or stressed about clarity, about a decision, a path that you have to choose here. I see that this because you're trying to do everything on your own. So whatever's triggering you is really mirroring and reflecting how you feel. So it's like, I feel like something is happening. You guys had another card though. That's interesting because I feel like, look at this, pillar of light, your vibration is rising. So I see that your energy is going to be in a much better place in the month of May. I see that you're coming out of this worry, anxiety, some type of clarity and decision is coming in that maybe has been prolonged here. Let's see more cards here for what's happening in May for card four. Yeah, things are getting ready to pick up very, very swiftly here. Very, very swiftly. You've been waiting for some time for this. We have Capricorn energy, the devil. All right, and then we also have Four of Cups, yeah. So there's a lot of satisfaction that I see that's gonna be coming in in the month of May. It's causing you to have to maybe not be as upfront with everyone about some of your decisions that you're getting ready to make. I see that some of these decisions, it's about you. It's about clarity for yourself. I also see your finances changing. Let's go ahead and see why the Seven of Swords is here. All right, I'm seeing something about bringing in balance in your finances. Why is the Seven of Swords here though? Because you don't feel alliance, okay. So there is, there is an alliance that you're gonna be building that's going to be bringing you in more finances, but it's gonna cause you to have to trust. So there could be some triggering going on here with having to trust this connection, whether it's a business connection, a partnership, a relationship, that's going to be bringing in some type of material or material and practical success here. But the Seven of Swords is like, you have to trust this, you have to build an alliance and you have to be honest, communicate with this person. Now, why is the devil here? Thank you. Okay, promise, so yeah. Something is getting ready to happen in your love life. We have promise, assurance, confirmation. You're going to receive confirmation from someone that you've been up at night thinking about very often. Um, a lot of clarity is gonna be coming in. This, it doesn't matter who this person can be. For, for most of you, I'm seeing that it's a business connection, maybe a relationship with a, a company, but you don't trust it, or with a person and you're not sure just yet, you have to build that alliance and loyalty here. And for others of you, it's committing to someone, but they're showing up as the devil, which doesn't always have to be a bad thing. This is Capricorn energy. So this person just, uh, whoever this person is, they could have a lot of earthly things, or they could be working towards that or see that you have a lot of uh, earthly things, practical things, material success, those of things of that nature. So I see someone making more of a deeper promise to you and a commitment to you. And the Knight of Swords, this is happening fast in the month of May. This could be going into May very quickly. So why is the Knight of Swords here? What's rushing in in May for card four? Whoa, everything. <laughs> an adventure, an opportunity to explore, passion, travel, and something, some talk about exploration, some talk about planning travel is coming in very quickly in the month of May. We have marriage, okay, yeah. So some of you guys are definitely deepening a connection that maybe you were worried or concerned where it was gonna go. I see that there is someone coming in to make an offer or promise and it's really gonna be whether or not you're accepting it or vice versa. Because why am I getting resistance here? Why are you up at night, Knight of swords? Look, fright, paranoid, depressed going on here <laughs> okay let me see nine of swords why is the nine of swords here for me why is the nine of swords here thank you yeah you're worried about this okay four of wands but why you don't know if they're the one or not 
okay it's not about them being the one it's about how you feel in this connection and how is that four of pentacles okay how do you feel about this person eight of swords okay maybe there's just some fear of what could hold this connection back yeah that's what i'm feeling okay three of pentacles what or who can hold this connection back we have six of wands twice i mean this is my public recognition card but they're getting married here and we have marriage so whoever you're thinking about for those of you who are drawn to deck four this could be for you who or what is triggering you this person is also thinking about you whoever that person is and there is some type of union here whether it's a business union an intimate union a marriage and a commitment with um an actual someone that you work with too is here because we have capricorn energy could be a boss someone or an authority okay because we have that where they can be you can be we also have memory remembrance and reunion and we also have protest in the reverse attention okay so i see that there is going to be some people maybe who are not as understanding of your decisions and your connections in your relationships moving forward it seems to be that your relationships have a lot of effect on what's happening in may and it's important that you know that you are the oracle which just simply means you're the one connected to the light in all of this and your vibration is raising it's it's also coming from a place of clarity and assurance i believe that clarity and assurance is just letting go and allowing what's meant to be to happen and there's just a lot of fears maybe of what what is ending what you're releasing in order to make some of this happen in your life so what does fu your future self want you to know about everything happening in may deck four thank you also if you guys are looking for personal readings there's 11 available in may you guys can find that down below in dream day which is on the 7th of may which is a live webinar expect a gift within 30 days okay so this person once again could be giving you a promise ring could be bringing you something tangible could be bringing you something in a very materialistic way some of you there is definitely a proposal here somehow in may happening or you could be going to a marriage um but there is a lot of union unions are like a big deal and any conflict that you have in unions you're gonna have to release in may the five is representative of the conflict um, and adversity what else do you want them to know future self don't overlook what you have to offer for it is valuable okay so let's go ahead and get clarity on that because we haven't really talked much of that about that your growth has been acknowledged by the universe you are brave for being you so these are messages just clarity and confirmation life is an opportunity for exploration and adventure there's more for you to explore so we have adventure and explore twice here in different cards and i see that what is to come is some type of clarity on adventure and desire of what and where you want to go and it's hard to just take people out it just seems like people are a big deal to you in the month of may they're playing a big part in your life which is also why you must really stay grounded i see that with your vibration rising you are the oracle it's important to keep yourself grounded in all of these changes that are going to be happening what can they experience in the month of may guidance okay so that's good so even though you're going through all this spirit still wants you to know that you are being guided on your journey here and i also see that there is a work situation too that you're being guided into a different career maybe or a different position in your career i just see that you're being guided into more of an, an explorative and an adventurous career and some of this is happening through remembrance of oh yeah i always wanted to go there so a lot of that is coming up too in the month of may decision decision and spiritual quest so yeah these decisions are leading you to more of a spiritual qu a quest here and i also feel like these decisions are leading you more to 
financial success. Okay, even with the Capricorn energy here, more material success, practical success. All right, more clothes, more jewelries, more cars, house or houses. All right, so you're being shifted into this. There will be clarity on what it is that you truly, truly, truly want here. Let's see what this energy is all about. Okay, what is this energy all about for deck four? What are they mostly going through in May? Five of wands, okay. Once again, the number five is the number of adversity and conflict. So it's with other people though. It's other people's energy, too many people, too many people. And I just see King of Cups here in reverse. Why is the King of Cups here? One person in particular could be standing out amongst the rest. King of Wands, yeah, in the chariot, but there is no movement or there's fear here. So there's a lot of relationship changes in the month of May. It, there seems to be a lot of confusion. I see that what's most important is for you to find a sense of feeling good. We have lovers at the bottom of the deck, but we have three people involved. So there's a lot going on here in the month of May that could be triggering you. And all of this is communication from your higher self. So if you feel like you are making a decision, the best decision would be for you to do what makes your heart sing, do what makes you happy. Four of Wands, once again, harmony. So I see a lot of blessings coming in for you, but in May, it seems like there's, being, there's a lot of triggering due to having to make a decision on what path you would like to take next, what you would like to do. I'm also hearing that it's not your responsibility to make any of this happen. So taking off some of that obligation to be free, to just explore what your desires are and to not feel guilty or bad about them. So let's see what else is the energy. It feels very cut and dry here with what you're experiencing. Let's get another card for the energy for May for deck four. Card for mirror. Compromise, yeah. A lot of people are involved and a decision has to be made. So some of you guys could be in um, a decision in career with two people wanting the same position. And listen, if they get the position, that is just communication that you are not meant to be there. And that's just what it is. Now, if it's a relationship and this person leans, whoever they lean towards, then just allow that to be communication. There should be no, there should be no conflict around it because it's all communication. Because even if that's the case, you're being led into commitment, whether it's with this person or another person that you are meeting. All right, so yeah, this is a lot going on per usual deck four, per usual. So there's a decision that has to be made here. Multiple people are involved. You're desiring marriage, harmony, union, but there's some type of compromise that has to be made. Now, even if this union and harmony is with the career, then I just definitely see that the outcome is aligning you with the outcome is aligning you with having more to explore whether that's in relationships in love or within living so yeah even here we have two people here so what is the message for them i guess this is going to be the overall theme if you guys chose four and this is not resonating this is probably not your deck because <laughs> And there's no such thing. I mean, if you're here, you're here. Um, but I definitely see that there could be like two people going for the same house or two of this or two of that and whatever the case may be. Just know that if it's meant for you, it'll be, it'll align perfectly. And that's what you're learning, whether it's the car, whether it's the house, whether it's the person, 10 of cups, I can't make it up, okay? So there is a connection here that is going to another level here. There's family involved, there's fulfillment involved here 
um, relationships and family are a big deal to you. And so in the month of May, this is what it's all focused and centered around. Even if you have nostalgia from when you did get married or maybe you're not married anymore, whatever the case is, it's because you're desiring harmony and union. And you're, that means that you could be on the verge of experiencing this if you have not already. So we definitely have some conflict coming in here with other people and um, it's the end result is fulfillment, is happiness. Let's see what else is here for the 10 of cups closing out for deck four. Okay, four of wands, sustenance. So you will be completely fulfilled, all right? This will be a fulfilling time for you. Yeah, look at the bottom of the deck, fulfillment. And it'll be something that you can sustain and that's where you're being led to, all right? And another thing is how people make you feel is very important. Because if people make you feel good, that means you guys are aligned. So maybe you and your mom, every time you call her or your dad or whoever, they don't feel good. That just simply means you guys are not aligned. You're not on that same frequency. And so that's also communication, is how people make you feel. And so if you have to compromise, Compromise the feeling of obligation, the feeling of enslavement, the feeling of feeling trapped, and embrace the feeling of unconditional love, patience, kindness, compassion, in people, in relationships, in companies, in business. What else do you have to say to deck four? Imagine yourself exploring three new places. They're not playing. They, you desire to explore. Some of you could be traveling with this person or desiring to tra uh, travel with this person. So imagine yourself exploring three new places is your guys' message from higher self. And so in the month of May, there's a huge emphasis on travel, adventure, exploring, and exploring could mean in relationships. It could also mean in career, but I'm also seeing in actual travel. So if you guys were led to deck number four, this is what you guys can expect to experience in the month of May. If you're looking to be a part of Dream Day, you can find all that information down below in the description box. All right, guys, I'll see you in June with the next monthly prediction, hopefully. In the meantime, I'm sending you guys so much love and light. See ya.